If you've ever wanted to live in the home of an old Hollywood starlet and have around $7 million lying around, the one-time New York City dwelling of Katherine Hepburn could be yours. It even comes with her original mirrored vanity. Katherine Hepburn was an iconic American actress known for her fierce independence and spirited personality, which helped her achieve a career that spanned more than six decades. Born on May 12, 1907 in Hartford, Connecticut, Hepburn was raised in a progressive household, especially for those times. Her father, who was a urologist, and her mother, who was a feminist, greatly influenced her strong-willed character and liberal views. Hepburn was known for her athleticism as well, often swimming, playing tennis, and engaging in other physical activities well into her later years too. Despite her fame, Hepburn preferred a life away from the Hollywood social scene. She definitely valued her privacy and was often described as reclusive, choosing to spend her time with close friends and family rather than engaging in the party scene. Catherine's most famous home was the family estate in Fenwick, Old Saybrook, Connecticut, which we'll look at shortly. This waterfront property where she spent much of her childhood and returned frequently throughout her life was a place of peace for her. But first, let's look at her townhouse in New York City that's on the market. A Manhattan townhouse that iconic actress Katherine Hepburn called home for decades is now on the market. It was located within Turtle Bay Gardens, an exclusive enclave of historic homes with a shared private garden. The 164-year-old property was owned by Hepburn from 1931 until her death at age 96 in 2003. Hepburn's estate sold the four-bedroom, four-bathroom residence for $3.9 million in 2004 to the current seller. This seller is now asking $7.2 million. Built in the late 1800s, the 4,560-square-foot townhouse sits on 49th Street in New York City. The five-story, 19-foot-wide residence features six fireplaces, a restored wooden staircase, and Hepburn's still-intact mirrored vanity. The garden floor opens to a stone-tiled foyer leading into the Eden kitchen, which is equipped with a built-in breakfast table, a banquette, double ovens, and a butler's pantry with sub-zero wine cooler. The layout flows into the dining room, which is access to the building's own green space. Beyond that, through a low wooden gate lies the lush Turtle Bay Gardens, a private park full of landscaped flora and multiple fountains, accessible exclusively to the 20 surrounding townhouses. On the parlor level is a formal living room, a Juliet balcony, a wet bar, and a rear library. The third floor contains the primary bedroom and a secondary bedroom currently used as an office. The top floor houses the final two bedrooms, both with walk-in closets. The lowest level has a wine cellar, a laundry room, and a half bath. Other Turtle Bay Gardens residents have included Bob Dylan, Evie White, and Stephen Sontine. In 2017, Catherine's most well-known home in Connecticut on the Long Island Sound sold for $11.5 million. This waterfront property where she spent much of her childhood and returned frequently throughout her life was a place of peace for her. The house was a charming white clapboard building surrounded by water on three sides, providing a tranquil retreat from the bustling world of film. The home, situated in the Fenwick borough of Old Saybrook, was in Hepburn's family for decades and served as her residence until her death in 2003. The owner who purchased the home after Hepburn's passing renovated the three-story mansion in 2005. The property spans about 8,300 square feet on about 1.5 acres along the Long Island Sound, featuring a dock, a boat mooring, and a pond, according to its listing. Built in 1939, the original home offers three stories with six bedrooms. It also boasts views of a private pond and a golf course. This Connecticut seaside residence is where Catherine spent family vacations, frequently returning here throughout her life, and she ultimately spent her final days here. The acting legend's parents purchased the property around 1913 when Hepburn was a child. The original home was destroyed by a hurricane in 1938, several years after Hepburn won her first Academy Award. Determined to rebuild, Hepburn dug her mother's silver out of the sands and reconstructed the home, 
she created the brick structure that still stands along the banks of Long Island Sound today. The home's interior is bathed in white and features six bedrooms, each with its own bath, plus one and a half additional bathrooms and seven fireplaces. The latest owners renovated the home and elevated the structure by five feet to protect it from water damage. The property's private beach is also where Hepburn reportedly took a daily dip regardless of the season. Katherine Hepburn, who is certainly an acting legend known for her fierce independence and remarkable career, left a mark not only on the silver screen but also with her stunning homes. With her ties to her peaceful home on the waters of Old Saybrook, Connecticut that she had since childhood, to her impressive townhome deep in the center of Manhattan, Catherine had a little bit of everything in her life. After looking at her properties, that will bring our Catherine Hepburn house tour to an end. Rest in peace, Catherine. You'll always be celebrated and remembered. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'm Kara. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.